Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. So let's jump in here. Pisces, your person is very shocked. This is sort of the shock and awe card. You know, the tower card is an epiphany. When we look at the inner in their heart space, they feel very passionate towards you. They want to make love to you all night long. They could text you all day long. They want to travel with you. They want to have adventures with you. You are in their heart space, the epitome of passion and excitement. You make their blood race. When you surprise them, you really make their blood race. In their heart space, this person wants a legacy relationship with you. They want to enjoy all the happiness. They want to enjoy the loyalty. They want to share emotions. They want to build stability, financial wealth. They possibly could want children with you or, you know, doing something in the relationship that creates a legacy of creativity. Your person really wants to work with you. In, your, in their heart space, you are passionately their empress. They feel very much that you embody Venus, you know, that you are the embodiment of beauty and pleasure and joy and reliability that, the, you know, the Empress plants a seed, whether it's for, you know, to build anything. The Empress is all about everything that you value, everything, it's Taurus energy. Your person really in their heart space is madly in love with you, Pisces. You're the one for them. There's not even any doubt. In terms of their intentions, you're their best friend. They want to collaborate in life with you. They want you as a partner. They want to enjoy a lot of creativity with you. They want to enjoy starry nights, adventures, reunions, you know, they want to spend time with all your mutual friends. They want to love you very deeply. Those are their intentions. This is being very emotional, being very open with you, letting their guard down. Their actions are right now, Pisces, that I'm thinking that because we have their actions as a five of coins, they feel shut out. You may have said something or done something that they've misunderstood, or they could understand it perfectly but they feel shut out by you. They have been manifesting you. They want for you to think very well of them. Well, of course, you know, they, they think the same way of you. So they feel as though you don't hold them in the same regard as you do them. The Ace of Wands, the Empress card says that the action is, is that this person may want children. The Ace of Wands with the Empress is pregnancy. They're trying to figure out if you would consider it. They don't know right now. I think that that actually may be a part of this feeling that they may have a life with you by, you know, getting married. The Justice card is 7th house Libra energy. It's about marriage and commitment. So I'm, when we clarify this, we're going to get some ideas here. Your person is in love. They want everything with you. I would say including children, that may be the sticky wicket at this point, but we're going to clarify right now, their intention is in, you know, complete flow with everything that they want to manifest with you, they're working to manifest, they want this passionate beginning, they want a marriage or significant relationship in which you are sharing a life together, buying homes together, making, you know, legal commitments together. So let's take a look at these clarifiers. This is a very fascinating reading, Pisces. Why is the Tower card here? The Tower card, what is the epiphany? What is the structure that needs rebuilding? What is the good news, the bad news, the argument? What is this Tower? Because it is, you know, the, the only two negative cards are the Tower card and how your person feels about it something that you've said to them or what they're thinking. All right, so why do they feel blocked out? So what is this tower card? Why is the tower card here? Why do they think the tower? Why are they shocked by something that you've said? Why are they shocked by something that you've said or done? Ah, they feel as though you've said something to the effect 
of bringing the tower down. Wow, okay. So they do see this as a collapse of some sort. They feel as though you're keeping your options open. They feel as though you're really angry at them. I feel as though this could be a very bad argument or a very bad misunderstanding. Tell us more about the tower card. They feel as though they're your person. The tower is reversed. Okay, so the clarifier here. So your person is feeling, they think that you're keeping your options open, that you're going to judge Judy them out of existence, that you're going to make a decision that goes against them. They definitely think that you are, they, they do think that they're the perfect one for you. They think that you think that. There's a lot of fear here. This to me is very fear-based. They feel as though you're not happy with them. They feel as though they don't have a foundation with you. Why is the temperance card here? This is a bizarre reading from this. This tower is bizarre. The fool card reversed. So your person is feeling very much that you don't want to take the leap of faith. Why don't they feel you want to take the leap of faith? The Ten of Swords, you said or did something. I would say that what I'm seeing here is that your person may have seen a text message or something that indicates you have an interest in somebody else. But the tower in terms of how your person thinks of you is that you've said or done something that has shocked them into feeling regretful and remorseful. Uh, that somehow, Pisces, you regret the time you've spent with them. Oh, wow. All right. So they feel as though you have made a, you've decided to break up with them. You've decided to leave them behind. Something that you said put them in that framework. Tell us more about this tower. The chariot card. Yep. Honey, I'm not coming home. Well, that would make me feel that way too. Pisces, Pisces, they feel as though they've wasted time with you. They feel as though they're very wounded. Their actions are really not taking any direct action with you. You would have to definitely balance things out. You'd have to come back to them. Pisces, what's going on here? This is... You're going to need to tell me in the comments below because this is a conundrum. Now, I would say that Pisces, they think that the message they're getting from you is that you think that they're too bossy. You think that they're too intense. They think that you're unhappy. They think that <laughs> this gets very tricky. They feel as though you are not having fun with them. Very intense reading. I'm not even going to clarify these because they don't need clarifying. They feel very defensive. Right now, your person feels shattered. Now, the actions that they're taking are to try to sort of reinvent the relationship. They are trying to get a new beginning with you. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get another set of cards here. I'm going to get the Dreamy Way Tarot, and I'm going to see Pisces. What is what I'm going to do a mini Celtic on these three cards for their actions? They feel totally destroyed. Your person feels absolutely like the world is shattered, and they felt like you were the one. And they thought that they feel as though you have been dishonest with them by not by keeping secrets and not telling them that you, that you don't think that they're the one for you. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups, your person is going within, thinking about what you've said or what you've done. They love you. They want a new beginning with you. They're falling in love with you all over again. The Page of Cups says that anything that's immature, 
They're really trying to, to decipher what it is that you've said to them. They're trying to be very logical, Pisces. They're trying to find the right answers, the Five of Wands. They feel very conflicted. They feel like there, there's an ego battle going on. They feel as though they might have been egotistical. Your person looks like they offer, they offer to throw caution to the winds. They're very open to whatever you have to say. The Knight of Swords, it looks like there's going to be sharp words spoken, or there were. The King of Wands energy says that they're still wanting a win with you. Seven of Swords reverse. That's good. I like that. That's a great reversal. It means that they're they're really being very honest with you. Three of Swords reversed. Oh. Three of Swords reversed says that they may be willing to to forgive something or to take their part in a blame that they may have for a situation that involved other people. Your person is willing, Pisces, to think very strategically. They want to still invest in the relationship. The Ten of Swords, they're going to walk away from the pain. They're going to let it go. And what's the final, final? Ugh, the Knight of Wands. Pisces, you guys are in a tough situation. So I'm going to leave it there. Bye-bye, Pisces. Thank you.